Okay, before I leave the bench, I've got her pretty well centered up now, using the fine adjustments. And before I leave the bench, I'm going to go ahead and set these, re-zero these knobs so that my markings are at zero for my 200 yard zero, which I use as my baseline for my loads and my data cards. USO makes this pretty darn simple to do. So, if in fact you have the right size Allen. The reason I like to do this step now, I'm going to verify point of impact from the prone position next. But the reason I like to make these adjustments now is I have had an experience with one of these scopes that when you made these adjustments, the point of impact would change. Um, just moving, just loosening and retightening the adjustments on the knobs. So my next step will do a couple of things. It'll verify point of impact from position. It will also have allowed me one movement of the knob covers to see if that had any impact on the, uh, the point of impact. All right, to make my zero testing complete, I'm going to fire three shot group at 200 yards from position. Shoot a new load, by the way, 155 grain Sierra Match King over 46 and a half grains of uh, Varget. So we'll see what kind of accuracy we get out of this thing. Interesting note also, there's there was about a half value seven mile an hour wind in between the time that I got back from pacing the target and now it's dropped off and has actually switched over from the other direction. So for all intents and purposes, there's no wind. Hell, already I've had a shift in point of impact from something. And a nice little group at 4 o'clock right on the edge of the 10 line. I'm going to go ahead and give it two clicks up, two clicks left. Instead of using my same aiming point, I'm going to use the top. I'm going to use a 12 o'clock hold on the target so that I have a clean point of aim. Interestingly enough, that one's actually a little high. So, windage is right on. I'm checking the wind flag when I look up. Right there. I'm going to 
until this flips out. This time we'll do a six o'clock hold on the same target. All right, that's right on. Two touching. In my second group I fired, two are touching and one's about three-fourths of an inch out. Those two are touching at the exact perfect windage and elevation point of impact that I was looking for.